What's going on, guys? I'm about to talk about the whole Ryan Upchurch and Kylie Rodney situation. It's not really a situation. It's more so a lot of true crime channels are upset because Upchurch is giving his opinion and we can't have that. Oh, no. He gave an opinion that's not common within the true crime community because we're a bunch of just nasty individuals that claim to be detectives, right? We claim to be detectives. We're not. We claim that certain people are sources. They're not. In fact, it's all ruled on just a lot of grifting and pandering and manja manja. The true crime fans eat it. But then when you have someone who's trying to be different because they're being themselves, they're questioning stuff. We can't have someone question stuff. Oh, no. You got to listen to whatever we tell you. Nasty. So, yeah, Ryan Upchurch, he gave his opinion. Um, Kylie Rodney actually offered to help, right? I'll even argue that he did. He did way more for the Kylie Rodney case than a lot of these true crime content creators, I'll tell you that much, right? But... They're not satisfied, they're upset because they're gatekeepers. They get to dictate and decide who talks about true crime situations. That's dumb as hell. It, it's real stupid and it's disgusting. Who are you to tell someone that they can't talk about a situation? Now, when it comes to true crime content creators, I've given my opinion on them. I think a lot of them are disgusting Right, they're foul, foul. Too many to name. Right, I've seen a few things that were <laughs> shared from Ryan Up Church from some woman that started with an X. Next, let's let's get that up out of here, fam. Ooh, a stray fool. You guys sent me some kind of article you want me to read. I'm gonna look into it and probably cover it as a subject tomorrow. But. She's straight foolish. He had popcorn planted with his foolish self too as well, right? Out here just being nasty, looking like Dan Schneider out here in this piece. My bad. Too soon? I said what I said, but he goes and he platforms this nasty woman just because, just because she disagrees with Upchurch or she doesn't like Upchurch. We're not basing it off of facts. We're not basing it off of real information, No. No, no, it's just pettiness. We don't like the same people. Let me platform this person. Let me even go out and throw bogus explanations for stuff that don't make no damn sense. Let's not talk about the footage that's been passed around of them kayaking all over the place, right? Right, you just so happen to go right over the body. Sus. Super sus friendships with quote unquote police chiefs or officers or whatever. Find out they're not even real. Like it's just it's a whole bunch of disgusting behaviors going on within the true crime community. And I actually think that Upchurch is right for calling them out. I think he has every right to speak on whatever topic, case, subject he wants to. Now, is he trying to do something like tell his fans to go and attack? No. No, he's not doing any of that. And that would probably be the only thing that I would be like, nah, we're we not rocking with that. Anything was getting personal to where you're, you're directly attacking people, not just stating your opinion, not just looking into stuff, but if you're directly attacking people off the internet, then I'm going to say, okay, that's, that's crazy. Or even better, that's just not right. All right? If you're going to do it and start it off the internet, then we're not talking about that. We're talking about when it comes to these true crime cases. And so far, as much as I've seen, Ryan Upchurch hasn't done any of these things that I think went over the line. These other true crime content creators have. They do and say nasty things and then disappear. I've debated so many, fam. Like, what was this other dude? The flarer? The sharer? Baby Gap? He wears like tiny shirts, like I'm talking about like medium his shirts just be hugging. That's how his shirt his shirt. I can't, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. But then he hear that Ryan Upchurch is getting hated on. He all up in the chat. Wait. Wait, yeah, we we hating on our church today. Go have another drink. Since when are we taking information from winos? That 
Come on, man. Come on, man. I know I smoke, but I can actually form a sentence and think. This dude has literally came in here slurring, going crazy, making up stuff. He makes up stuff. <laughs> Two things that the flavor does. Kiss butt, make up stuff. But anyway, I digress. I digress. I just think it's clear as day when a whole group or a community, right? My bad, let me go. Community, right? Goes at one person in particular as if they're trying to gatekeep and, and control what the masses hear. That sounds really, really suspect to me. I keep telling people YouTube is the new Hollywood. It's the new system. This is where the gatekeepers lie. They do a whole lot of filthiness. Yeah, you should look at it. You should question it. And anyone telling you that you're wrong for questioning something, they're just crazy, right? As long as you're not just making stuff up out the thin air, there's nothing wrong with looking into something, right? As long as you're not going crazy and doing dangerous things, like once again, attacking people on a real life type of note. Right now, if you get into like a boxing ring and both parties agree, and hopefully they could get a check. No. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with both parties agree? We got referees in it. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. But, <laughs> but just also just go to the fisticuffs off of YouTube videos and that sound a little crazy. But anyway, I digress. I think people are going too far. I don't think Upchurch is saying or doing anything wrong. And I think that people are just way too sensitive. Either that or look around. Maybe they trying to hide something. Maybe. You know what I mean? Maybe. Maybe he's trying to hide something. I'm not going to say if that's 100% what's happening. Because, you know, Big Brother's watching. But a lot does seem odd with that. And it, it stands out. But overall, I'm happy that there's people like Ryan Up Church out here just doing the good work. Doing the Lord's work. Questioning stuff. Using their platform for good. Not these other nasties that's trying to capitalize. Upchurch does not have to talk about any true crime case. He does it because he actually cares. You guys do it because... Y'all disgusting. I was trying out. I, I ain't want to get low. Y'all filthy. Y'all don't have. I'm going to bleep that part out. <laughs> I'm a <laughs> Let's go to the next segment, man. I will bleep that part out.